Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm all down for people to make more money. In fact, with inflation this high and costs of rent and getting a home and interest rates being so incredibly high, hey, making more money is the way to go. But now, this is not the way to do things because half a million California workers will be getting the $20 minimum wage starting on April 1st. I know it's not an April Fool's joke. It's been going on for the past one to two months. This is a big deal because many businesses are now closing down. Many workers are being fired. $20 may seem like a fantastic deal, but it's such a humongous jump from $15.50 to 20 bucks that many businesses are now just firing off employees. This should not be the way to do business, California. And look at this, go to McDonald's. This is what it looks like, just kiosks and kiosks everywhere. Now it used to be McDonald's having maybe two or three cashiers in the front and maybe one kiosk, but now there are no cashiers. Oh, you wanna, let's say, order something, do it through the mobile app. If you don't know how to use a kiosk, an employee will come over and help you out. But I guess everyone's just so used to the kiosk situation now. And even the menu in the front is completely turned off. The only employees in this McDonald's are gonna be like your janders, your cooks, and maybe like a manager or two, but that's really it. They basically cut down by 50% employees. So this is the new McDonald's, and I wouldn't even be surprised if many restaurants and fast food chains simply close down their dining room and close down their front cashiers just to save more money. California's $20 per hour minimum wage wipes out thousands of jobs. UCLA economics professor is saying that 9,500 jobs have been wiped out on day one. More fast food job losses are coming as a new minimum wage is taking effect. Big losses in the Pizza Hut and also delivery department. Papa John's employees are literally showing off their slips and papers of them being fired. And places like, you know, El Polo Loco and Jack in the Box announced that they will be using a lot of robotics. Robots that will make salsa and cook fried foods. There's already many corporations in Silicon Valley in the Bay Area that are coming out. Like if you look at the Miso deep frying robotics, they're literally combining it with their latest AI system. So instead of having like two or three people deep frying foods, you only need one guy that can manage like five to seven different deep fryers. This is a situation that's happening in California and the menu prices are very high because the only people that are getting this $20 minimum wage are gonna be some of the fast food restaurants. So with other sectors having just minimum wage of like $15.50, they go to McDonald's and they see a Big Mac meal is over 20 bucks. They're like, what in the world is going on? Inflation is already running rampant, okay? Oil prices are already super high. We don't need fast food being super expensive. I mean, fast food is fast and cheap. Now fast food is fast, but it is a luxury item, guys. Consumers picking up burgers, burritos, and chickens have all experienced massive price hikes. In fact, places like Chipotle, Domino's, McDonald's is 6% to 15% jump. And prices have nearly jumped for 500 California restaurants, and it will continue to increase as inflation goes rampant and also minimum wage hikes is causing all these restaurants to get more expensive. California's minimum wage is causing even drive-through workers to lose their jobs. AI is taking over. And let me tell you guys, AI in 2024 versus AI in 2014 is a whole different story. Now with the introduction of open AI, it's already sparking a massive AI revolution. We're seeing many companies like Gemini by Google, they are even partnering up with McDonald's that has a potential partnership to introduce AI systems for their drive-throughs. Wendy's straight up started implementing this. When Wendy's started smelling smoke from California of them talking about the $20 minimum wage, they immediately started ordering a bunch of brand new AI machines and TVs like this one. And frankly, these AI systems are actually pretty accurate. Now, does Wendy's wanna do this? No, they just like to have the same old, same old thing because this is a massive investment for Wendy's. Wendy's would much rather just hire employees like a regular store and people actually enjoy the human-to-human -human connection, like Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. But when it's $20 an hour, people can't afford that. So yes, AI is taking over, and it's gonna be getting more expensive as time goes on. 15, 50 to $20 per hour. I think what California should have done is maybe increase by 50 cents, or 75 cents, or at most a dollar. Don't jump from 15, 50 to $20, all in a span of one year. You basically just collapse numerous different restaurants. 
There's even restaurant owners in the McDonald's section, Domino's section, and the chain section in general that are thinking about closing down some of their dining rooms and closing down some of their stores altogether. This is getting super duper expensive, guys. I know the $20 minimum wage sounds fantastic. It is great. You know, who doesn't like to make more money? But also keep in mind about the corporations, the restaurants, and also the other sectors that are there in California and in those strip malls and that are serving food. Bottom line is the bosses want to make money. If the bosses aren't making money, they're closing down the whole establishment. And this is what's going on.